Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. Team calendars is a popular subject. Almost every company has one, almost every team needs one, and they can be done in so many different ways. I'm going to show you one way of doing it in Excel. First of all, I'm going to show you the built-in ones. The, if I go to New here and search for a calendar, you'll find a lot of different uh, calendar templates. But I want to show you a different version than these, of course. But if one of these fits uh, your needs, that is, of course, perfect. And you should check them out before going down, doing it manually, as I'm going to do. So what I want is a monthly calendar with the staff on the columns here. And then I want the days on the rows. So I want to have a month template, and then I want to have, create a new one for each month and fill in the information for my staff there. Of course, there are other ways of doing this in Outlook and uh, in Planner or in SharePoint, but this is just one do-it-yourself in Excel. So first of all, we want to have the staff, and then we're going to have the people. And I just have two people here that I'm going to be working with as examples, and of course, I double click here between the columns to make that wider so that it all fits. And um, then I'm going to start with the, the first date that I'm going to have. So I'm going to write that in Swedish format, which is the one I know best. So that's the 1st of January 2018. And of course, I have this set on American now. So that shows up like that. All right. The, uh, the time format is American. Then on the C column there, I'm going to put, put the same date plus one. So I'm just going to do B1 plus 1, and that, of course, gives me the next day. And then I'm going to fill this out all the way out to AF, which is corresponds to the 31st. And to get to the uh, beginning end, I'll hold down the Control and the Shift key and press the left arrow, which allows me to select everything, and then I double-click so that it all fits. All right. So now I have all the way from 1st of January until the 31st of January. January. As you see, this looks very unreadable though, so I'm going to change this a bit. First of all, I want to put the same thing in the row under. So I'm just going to do equals and the, the cell above, and then I'm going to fill that out all the way again. Right? That didn't make much of a difference. That certainly did make it more readable, but what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to select all of this all of these dates here and go all the way to the right, control shift right arrow. And then I'm going to format these numbers. I'm going to show only the weekday here. I do that by entering DDD in the custom format here. And that shows me the weekday. That's what I want in the first row. If I do DDD D with four Ds, then I get the full day, day. But I want to keep it readable, so I'm just going to go with the three first letters of each weekday. And I'm going to do the similar thing, control shift right arrow to get all these dates, and I'm just going to show the weekday, or actually the day number within that month. So I'm going to format the number again, go into custom, and then write just D. If I write DD, then I get the 01 format, which might be nice, right? Next, I'm going to uh, manually go in. Actually, let's not do that yet. And I was going to manually highlight the weekends, but I'm going to do that later because I'm going to start by a template first. The thing I want to do in this template first is just put some lines in here. And the easiest way of doing that is to use the draw border. So now I can just draw a border here really nice like that. And then draw a border there all the way out. As you see, it doesn't really fit on my screen. So I'm going to do one more thing with these quits, the drawing now. And I'm going to center all of this. Let's do that, center vertically. Yeah, and then I will make it slightly smaller. And I'm going to do that by double clicking. So now it actually fits on screen on my resolution, at least. I think this looks rather OK as a template now. So the next thing I'm going to do is name this sheet template, and then I will go and drag and drop that template to the left. There we go. So now I have template two, and I can rename that to Gen 2018, like that. And I can pull it in order like that. So that's the first one. Let's do a February also, just to make this clear. So again, I'm take the template and pull it over there, and then make that February. And for February, of course, I want to 
change the start date. Just do that in one cell, and that's going to be 2018-02-01, right? And then, of course, I need to make sure that it all fits. Now I'll go in and just color code weekends. I'll do that by yellow. Then I'm actually going to hide the rows that I don't need. I'm just going to do shift control down arrow and then right click and hide these rows. And the same thing I'm going to do with these <coughs> columns I don't need. So again, select and shift control right arrow and then hide all of those columns. I should perhaps have done that in the template, but you, I guess you get my drift here. Now, for actually scheduling things in the calendars, I'm going to recommend this method. So let's say Stina, she's actually on vacation here for this period. So I'm going to select that period when she's on a vacation. Just type in vacation and then enter. I still have the whole range selected. And then I'm going to merge and center that. And then I'm going to do some color coding for that. So let's put that on green, for example. And then we can go ahead and do Calcula. He's going to be at NASA for those two days. Again, I'm going to uh, merge and center and then color code that. That's a, you know, some kind of important project there. So I'm going to color code that in blue. Maybe have a white text to make that more visible. That looks good. Now, if I want to copy this entire, he does that every week. Let's see, he's Monday and Tuesday at NASA. Then I can just right-click that and copy, and then do the same next week. And Control-V to paste that, Control-V to paste that. So there I've shown you how to schedule things, and I think that looks rather nice. One uh, further thing that you might want to do is uh, learn how to erase these things. Of course, you can always go back to the template, but what if that uh, NASA Thing gets cancelled there. The best way to do that, if you just press delete, you see you still got that emergent center and the color coding and all. So that doesn't do it. So if you want to clear that out, I would suggest taking an empty day, copying the format, and then just erasing that, and then you get blank date. So that shows you how to build a team calendar from scratch in Excel. Thank you for watching this demonstration.